introduce yourself? I am Juan Juan. I play guitar for Kenosha. How did you start Kenosha? Uh, okay, we started, uh, um, Brian and I started back in, like, two years ago, and we met Carly at work at Guitar Center, and then we just had some other mutual friends that we played in previous bands with before, so that's how we started it. Do a lot of people mispronounce your name? compared to Paramore. Gemini, Farewell, Zoloft the Rock and Roll Destroyer, and The Morning Of. Um, it was a pretty good tour. I mean, minus like a van breaking down twice and we had to fix our trailer. <laughs> That's the tour car we lost, so then we had to get a filler. in. So, I mean, it was a fun tour. All the bands were really great, but, yeah, it just had a few rough patches like every tour does. Do you have any crazy stories when you're on the road or performing? when you first heard that your song would be on the hill.
Do you watch the hills? Uh, I mean, I used to with one of my ex-girlfriends, maybe like the first season, and then I just kind of lost interest in it, but I watched those two episodes that were in. Um, do you think Sean looks like Paul from Boys Like Girls? Oh, I don't even know who Paul is. I couldn't really tell you. I don't really follow that band that much. <laughs> I mean, I'll check him out now that you, now that you mentioned that, but I, was, I, I never really got into that band that much, so I don't know what they look like. Yeah, I'll check it out uh, tonight or something. If you could plan out your tour, where would you go first? Um, well, I mean, obviously I'd love to take a tour in Georgia. That way we don't have to drive out and, like, spend money on gas to start a tour, but... I mean, if you're, like, asking all of my favorite places to play, like, where I definitely, like, want to be, like, a lot on tour would probably be, like, California. It's usually, like, a, a state that we all love. We all love, like, Hollywood and stuff, so. Who would you like to perform with in the future? Oh, God. Like, if I could pick out, like, a tour with bands that I'd want to go on? Yeah. Uh, well, let me think about this for a second. I probably want to go out with Save the Day and Say Anything and I don't know, those would probably be the two that would, I'd want to go out with that are in our genre, which would actually be a realistic tour. So. If you could have one thing in life, no matter how much the price, what would it be? I guess just being like successful and content and everything that I do, no matter if it's music or something else in my life. If you had to listen to one band or artist for the rest of your life, which band or artist would you pick? It'd probably be Cigarettes. Actually, I can guarantee that. There'd be them. A million records sold or a million fans? Um, I'd do a million records sold because that would mean I would have a million fans. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely do a million records. Until this day, or decorating for Cinco de Mayo? Uh, decorating for Cinco de Mayo. Performing or staying at home? Uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, I'm performing. Full-length album or EP? Um, an album. Where can people listen to your music and contact you guys? Um, if they, you can contact us on, on MySpace. If you go there, uh, you can hear, like, four or five songs off our and then on the side, there's all of our pictures, and if you click those pictures, it goes to our personal MySpaces, and you can talk to us on there, and we also, like, write on that little chat room thing mm -hmm. on our MySpace a lot, and, like, our names are pretty obvious, like, I'm Kenosha Ryan, like, Sean is, I think, Kenosha Sean, or, and some of the, you know, it's pretty obvious who we are, and then, uh, you can also, it's, like, five of the songs are on our MySpace, and then if you go to our pure volume, the other four songs are on there. So between those two sites, you can pretty much hear our whole record for free. And if you want to buy it online, you can go to Smart Punk or iTunes or Interpunk or Target, Walmart, whatever. Like, they all have it. Would you like to say anything to your fans? Oh, I just want to say thanks for still supporting us and just because, you know, we lost Carly or whatever, it's the band's definitely not, like, changing or going to lose any of the quality, I think.